Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this uh, new video, an update on Litecoin. Um, I've been covering Litecoin quite a bit lately, but it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a coin that's been very bullish over time. So, I mean, we obviously had quite a big drop on uh, Saturday about two weeks ago. Uh, but ever since also held held strong support levels around $75, only broke through it at once when we had bearish momentum coming in again after the interest rates, I believe. Uh, and after that, it's actually one of the one of the cryptos that followed Bitcoin the best. Um, there was obviously a lot of bullish fundamental news for Bitcoin. Uh, and the same can be said for Litecoin with the halving coming up. The halving is uh, the 2nd of August. So bullish momentum was also uh, expected. So, um, so yeah, just wanted to do an update on that to see what the situation now is. We found resistance at around this level right here at 9394, which historically uh, has always provided strong resistance. Like historically, we've always from this level dropped back down towards that 88 and 87 dollar level. Uh, so we'll kind of talk about whether that's expected or that will just continue up to these levels right here around 98 dollars and then afterwards perhaps even 102. Uh, straight away so yeah we'll just basically do a full update before we dive into that though if you want to receive daily trading signals then check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments and there you will find instructions on how to join so check it out if you're interested in that uh, but down to litecoin so the thing is is that right now it's actually i, sh I should actually uh, draw a little bit more on the chart uh, because the level where we're finding support right now is this level right here all right it's, it's this level around, let's say $90. It goes a little bit lower as well, uh, but around $90. That has, that's the main level we broke above uh, yesterday evening, but that's also been our main support level for the last, uh, well, since that, since that time. Um, so the thing is, is right now, this level right here around $94 is actually not that strong of a resistance level, and you should actually drag it a little bit up as well, like this. Um, but we have always, like I said, we have always found quite significant resistance from that. And Bitcoin right now also looks like it's retracing a bit. So, and it's the weekend. So volume is dropping down and momentum is dropping down. So I do think it's, um, I think it's a bit more likely that Litecoin will find resistance here. Like we, we might get up there again at around that level, around $94. But that afterwards we will drop down and get a little bit of a, of, of a retracement down to this level right here, around $87, $86. At this point of time, that seems like the most likely scenario. And that from there, we will actually get uh, bullish momentum again and that we can uh, break above $90 and then get up to $98. That seems like the most likely scenario at this point of time. Now I have to say that um, like if it gets to those levels, I think $85, $86 is an amazing buy area, both for the, for the short term and the long term. Um, but I also have to say that the like I want to give you some, some um, conditions in which I'm wrong. Like for example, if we can actually stay in this area right here, like between 90, 93 and and $91 for the next 24 hours. So that's relatively high, right? So you're, you're, you're still very bullish then because you're basically you're holding the top. If we can actually do that for the next 24 hours, then I'm probably wrong because then it, it seems like we have more bullish momentum than I expected and we'll probably break above $94 and, nine, uh, and go up to that $98, $99 level uh, early, the, early next week, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a possibility. That's why I wanted to w w wanted to tell you about it. Like I said, I think it's a bit more likely we'll we'll see some bearish momentum. But um, yeah, personally, I'm staying I'm I'm staying out of trading it probably, unless we get that drop down to that level around eighty six dollars. But um, yeah, overall, that's my take on it. I think this is most likely consolidate, continue the uptrend. But if we can actually hold these levels then uh, I'm probably wrong and we'll just get that bullish breakout earlier. But that's my take on it for now. If you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.